Ever wondered why the Tower of Pisa leans? It's a question that has intrigued minds for centuries. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, as it's affectionately known, isn't your typical tower. This magnificent structure and iconic symbol of Italy is famous not for its height or its architectural finesse, but rather for its peculiar tilt. The tower's lean is no small affair. It's a significant slant that has turned this otherwise ordinary bell tower into a world-renowned wonder. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is not just an architectural marvel, but also a mystery that has fascinated scholars, architects, and tourists alike. Now you may think, surely the tower was designed to lean. A purposeful architectural quirk to add a bit of charm, but that's one of the many misconceptions surrounding this beloved structure. Contrary to popular belief, the tower was not intended to lean. The tilt we see today wasn't a part of the original blueprint, it was an unfortunate turn of events that led to this unexpected outcome. Many have speculated about the reasons behind the tower's lean. Some attribute it to the work of mischievous spirits, others to a divine intervention. Some even believe that the tower leans because of the Earth's magnetic field. However, these theories, while entertaining, are far from the truth. The real reason behind the tower's tilt is a combination of human error and natural circumstance, but to fully understand why the tower leans, we have to delve a little deeper into the story. We need to peel back the layers of history and unearth the secrets that lie beneath the tower's foundation. So, let's embark on a journey. A journey that takes us back to the 12th century, to the inception of this architectural marvel. It's a tale that's as captivating as the tower itself, filled with ambition, adversity, and intrigue. To unravel the mystery, we need to travel back in time to the origins of the Leaning Tower. Our journey begins in the late 12th century in the city of Pisa. A bustling maritime city-state, Pisa was a powerhouse in the Mediterranean, its wealth and influence rivaling those of Venice and Genoa. As a testament to their prosperity, the Pisans decided to construct a cathedral complex, a cathedral, a baptistery, and a bell tower. That bell tower is what we now know as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The architectural style chosen for the tower was Romanesque, a style characterized by rounded arches and symmetrical design. The tower was to be a freestanding bell tower or campanile for the cathedral. It was designed to be eight stories tall with a circular base and a series of arched galleries. In August of 1173, the construction of the tower began under the guidance of the architect, Bonanno Pisano. The first phase of construction saw the completion of the tower's base and the first three floors. However, it was during this initial phase that the early signs of the tower's infamous tilt began to appear. The tower was being built on a foundation of dense clay, fine sand, and shells, a subsoil known as marine clay. This type of soil, while capable of supporting buildings of modest size, was ill-suited for a structure as ambitious as the tower. As the weight of the tower increased with each new floor, the soil began to compress unevenly, causing one side of the tower to sink. Despite these alarming signs the construction continued, it was believed that the tilt could be corrected by adjusting the design for the remaining floors. The idea was to build the higher floors with one side taller than the other to counterbalance the lean. The architects and builders of the time were confident in their skills and the strength of their design. They believed they could control and counteract the forces of nature that were causing the tower to lean. However, the architects and builders didn't anticipate what was to come. As the tower grew taller, a strange phenomenon began to occur. The tower's sturdy marble facade began to tilt. The reason? The very earth beneath it. The tower's foundation was laid upon a dense layer of clay, fine sand and shells, a subsoil composition that was far from stable. This subsoil, known as marl, was unable to bear the weight of the growing tower causing it to lean. The leaning of the tower wasn't an overnight occurrence, it was a slow and gradual process. As the construction continued, the lean became more pronounced. The builders were not unaware of this unusual development, but they were architects, not geologists. They could not have fully comprehended the geological complexities that were causing the tower to lean. Interestingly, the construction of the tower was not a continuous process. It was halted several times due to wars and skirmishes. And though these interruptions were frustrating for the architects, they were a blessing in disguise for the tower. Every time the construction stopped, 
the soil had time to settle and compact under the weight of the existing structure, providing a more stable base for the next phase of construction. Had the tower been built in one go, it's likely it would have toppled over long before it reached its final height of over 56 meters. The pauses in construction, ironically, were fundamental to the tower's survival. The tower's lean increased over centuries, not years. It was a slow dance with gravity with the tower leaning further south with each passing decade. The architects tried to correct the lean, even going so far as to build upper floors with one side taller than the other, but to no avail. The tower continued to lean, becoming the architectural marvel and the subject of intrigue that it is today. Despite the leaning, the tower's construction continued, creating the icon we know today. The Leaning Tower of Pisa stands tall, not just as a testament to the architectural prowess of the medieval times, but also as a symbol of resilience and endurance against the forces of nature. The Leaning Tower of Pisa has survived the test of time, but not without its share of challenges. Over the centuries, this iconic structure has weathered a multitude of threats, each one a testament to its enduring strength and the tenacity of those committed to its preservation. Wars have raged around it, leaving scars on its marble facade. The most notable of these conflicts was World War II, where the tower's survival was nothing short of a miracle. Despite the surrounding city being heavily bombed, the leaning tower of Pisa remained standing, a beacon of hope amidst the ruins. Natural disasters, too, have tested the tower's resilience. Earthquakes have shaken the region of Pisa multiple times throughout history. Yet remarkably, the tower has withstood these geological upheavals. Its peculiar lean, a result of the unstable foundation it was built upon, has ironically granted it a certain stability during these tremors. However, the greatest threat to the tower has always been its own structural instability. Over the years, the lean increased, threatening to bring the tower crashing down. In the late 20th century, this concern became so severe that the tower was closed to the public for over a decade. A team of international experts was assembled tasked with the mission of preserving this global landmark. Their solution was ingenious. They removed soil from beneath the raised end of the tower, causing it to gently tilt back towards vertical. Simultaneously, they added weight to the lower side, further stabilizing the structure. This delicate operation successfully reduced the tower's lean by nearly half a degree, ensuring its survival for future generations. Today, thanks to these preservation efforts, the Leaning Tower of Pisa still stands tall, or rather it stands leaning, a symbol of resilience in the face of adversity. It's a testament to human ingenuity, our ability to adapt and overcome, and our enduring fascination with this architectural marvel. The Leaning Tower of Pisa stands today as a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. From a construction mishap to a world-renowned landmark, the Leaning Tower of Pisa has truly made its mark. Today, it stands not as a symbol of architectural failure, but as a testament to resilience and ingenuity. It reminds us that sometimes, imperfections can become our greatest assets. The tower's distinctive tilt has made it a beloved attraction for millions of tourists every year. Standing at the heart of the Piazza dei Miracoli, it shares the stage with the Grand Pisa Cathedral and the Circular Baptistry. Yet, despite being in such illustrious company, it is the leaning tower that steals the show. Its unique lean, a result of an early miscalculation, has become its defining feature, attracting people from all around the globe. But the tower is more than just a popular tourist spot, it's a living piece of history, a cultural icon that has witnessed centuries of human civilization. For Italians, it's a source of national pride. For architects and engineers, it's a study in resilience. For the rest of us, it's a reminder that beauty can be found in the most unexpected places. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is also a testament to the ongoing efforts to preserve our cultural heritage. Since the late 20th century, extensive conservation work has been undertaken to stabilize the tower and prevent any further lean. These efforts have been largely successful, ensuring that future generations can continue to marvel at this architectural wonder. In spite of its precarious lean, the tower has endured. It has withstood wars, earthquakes, and the passage of time. It has defied gravity, and in doing so, has become a symbol of endurance against all odds. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, a symbol of architectural endurance, continues to captivate us with its enduring lean. It stands as a testament to human ingenuity, a beacon of resilience in a world that's constantly changing, 
and every day it continues to lean just a little reminding us of its remarkable journey from construction mishap to cultural icon.